Okay, so once again, uh, hello everyone. Uh, and first of all, let me thank you uh, for uh, having me and DataLogic as a part of this nice program of uh, webinars. Uh, as said, uh, the, the main topic uh, of my presentation is going to be focused on uh, smart cameras. And uh, more specifically, I'm going to uh, present you uh, a brand new product from DataLogic, and also I will share with you some considerations uh, about uh, the smart cameras, the applications that uh, they are used to address, uh, and so the typical uh, cases that you might uh, find uh, uh, in the industry uh, where you can leverage uh, products like smart cameras to solve uh, machine vision applications. Uh, my presentation is going to be organized in three main parts. Uh, so at the beginning, I will just uh, share with you some key benefits uh, of smart cameras. Uh, then I will move to the introduction of the product uh, uh, from DataLogic. And then at the end, I will cover a couple of application scenarios uh, uh, talking about uh, some uh, key benefits uh, of this uh, product. So let me start uh, the presentation. So first of all, uh, I would like uh, to spend a few words about uh, the range of DataLogic. Uh, so uh, as DataLogic, we have uh, a broad portfolio covering uh, many different uh, uh, price uh, performance uh, points, let's say. Uh, so we go from uh, entry-level cost-effective devices uh, that uh, are usually uh, uh, used in order to solve uh, easy applications, where, of course, uh, budget constraints are important as well. Uh, and then we move up to the vision processors area, so the, the products you see on the right-hand side of the slide that uh, are usually the products uh, that uh, are tackling uh, the most demanding applications, so the ones that are delivering uh, the highest flexibility, the highest performance in order to solve uh, uh, really challenging applications. In between, we have the smart cameras. So smart cameras are uh, fully embedded devices. So are products that are capable of acquiring images and process them on board. Uh, so you have the benefit of having uh, the complete vision system packed in one single unit. And of course, we're going to uh, discuss more in details about this part. Uh, it's also very important uh, uh, to underline the fact that these uh, products uh, are, uh, are uh, really addressing uh, different types of users, I would say, meaning that uh, when we consider the entry-level devices, so the vision sensors area, those are products that uh, are usually requiring very uh, simple programming, uh, so are products that can really be uh, uh, used and configured by even an expert user, so people that uh, do not necessarily have a strong background in machine vision, uh, because they can be configured uh, typically with a push button or possibly by just uh, adjusting some thresholds. Then, of course, the more we move to the right side of the slide, the more, let's say, the complexity and of course also the performance and the flexibility as said before are increasing and so those are products that tends to be uh, used by people that have more background more skills more know-how about machine vision so as anticipated by the title today we are going to focus uh, uh, on this uh, category of products so on smart cameras uh, and uh, before introducing you the new product from DataLogic, uh, the P2X series, uh, I want to spend a few words uh, about the typical uh, key benefits uh, of smart cameras compared to the other products uh, type that you see in, in this slide. Uh, so the first benefit is, of course, the fact that uh, you have, uh, as said, uh, a complete uh, vision system uh, embedded in one single unit. So here you see a representation uh, where you can see on the left side uh, a smart cameras that is typically one unit, uh, typically featuring uh, embedded lighting system, embedded lenses, uh, embedded filters. Uh, and then eventually you have just a couple of cables uh, going out, uh, coming out from the unit that you will connect to the electrical cabinet uh, and to the host uh, to deliver the messages or so the results of your inspection. While on the other side, you see that uh, the, the, the vision system where you have multiple units, multiple components uh, that are creating the vision system. So eventually you are going to have uh, 
a vision processor, so a sort of industrial PC, and then you are going to have a camera, uh, typically a C-mount lens, uh, an external lighting system, and so on. And everything must be connected uh, through cables. Uh, so you have, uh, uh, let's say, a, a solution that requires several components that needs to be connected all together, that needs to be mounted mechanically. So of course, you can immediately perceive uh, the advantage of having uh, a compact solution on the left that is equivalent to a more complex solution that is the one you see on the right. Uh, so for sure, having uh, less components means also having uh, less chances of failure points. Uh, means also the fact that uh, besides uh, the fact that you need uh, lots of cables uh, to connect uh, all the units each other, uh, you also have to pay attention to the quality of the connection. Uh, meaning that especially if you are uh, dealing with uh, fast applications, so the quality of the connection, for instance, between the camera and the control unit and the, 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 the industrial PC must be uh, a good one, meaning that you have also to take care about uh, potential uh, issues uh, coming from, 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 for instance, from electrical noise on the cable. So once again, having everything embedded in one single uh, uh, device uh, is of course simplifying a lot of the installation uh, of the of the region system. The second key benefit I would like to underline is uh, the industrial grade. Uh, all uh, DataLogic smart cameras uh, uh, are uh, are uh, let's say in line with uh, the most demanding requirements in terms of industrialization, in terms of robustness. Uh, meaning that all our smart cameras are IP65, IP67 rated. They offer a very extended uh, range in terms of operating temperature and so on. So they can be really installed in demanding environment, uh, in harsh environments where also the mechanical and thermal stresses could be, could be pretty high. These are key benefit compared to the traditional cameras uh, so the traditional vision systems, because uh, uh, usually uh, cameras uh, are not uh, offering uh, a high degree in terms of IP rating uh, and uh, also in terms of connectors and so on. So uh, you have the advantage uh, that you can uh, install uh, the, the device, uh, the solution, uh, without worrying about uh, uh, the, the, let's say, the environment uh, conditions. Uh, so you don't have uh, to, to take care about uh, additional enclosures. You don't have uh, to consider also the protection of uh, not only the camera, but uh, for instance, also of the lighting system, because eventually if you are going to use a camera with an external lighting system, you have to protect not only the camera, but also the illuminator. So this is uh, another important advantage offered by smart cameras compared to the traditional vision system. The third point I would like to underline is the modularity that you can get uh, uh, by using a smart camera approach. Uh, so here is just a simple example. So let's say that you have uh, your production line and you have already installed uh, three uh, inspection points on your production line in three different points. So what if you want to add a fourth point, a fourth uh, inspection area? So if you are using a PC-based solution, of course, you can add uh, one more camera to your system, but then you have uh, to consider that uh, you, of course, uh, first of all, you need uh, uh, an additional Ethernet port to connect the camera to your system or uh, whatever interface you are using. But also you have to consider the workload on your CPU, uh, meaning that you need to make sure that uh, uh, the, the, the control unit, the industrial PC that you are using in order to run the inspection to perform the analysis uh, on the images uh, acquired by the three cameras uh, uh, is enough also to host, uh, to, to take care also of the fourth uh, uh, new camera. So uh, in, um, in the other scenario, so in case you are using a smart camera approach, uh, of course, every single device is autonomous, uh, has its own uh, uh, computing power. So of course, you can add your fourth, your fifth, your sixth uh, inspection point uh, to your line and you don't have to worry about uh, the, the, the processing power that you have available because every single unit will have its own uh, processing power. The fourth uh, key elements I would like to underline, and this is specifically, I would say for data logic, uh, we have chosen to uh, leverage the same uh, environment uh, in terms of uh, software 
uh, for all our units. So uh, today, and we will see this uh, better also in the following slides, uh, the functionalities uh, that you can get uh, on a, on a PC-based solution uh, are also made available on a smart camera platform. So uh, in the case of DataLogic, we have a software environment called Impact uh, that is powering uh, all uh, our devices. Uh, this means that uh, eventually you have uh, the same, the very same functionalities uh, of a complete vision system also available on a smart camera platform. So even if uh, you are using a more compact, uh, more uh, cost-effective solution, uh, but you're still getting the all advantages, the, the whole value of a vision system also on a smart camera platform. Okay. So I've uh, completed this uh, short, uh, this uh, brief overview about uh, the key benefits of smart cameras. I would like now to move uh, to the second part of my presentation that is about uh, a product from DataLogic that we have uh, uh, very recently released to the market. This is a product that we have officially announced at the end of March, beginning of April. Uh, so it's a brand new unit from DataLogic, uh, and uh, I would like to spend a few words about it, uh, especially focusing on the key uh, benefits, the key advantages of this unit. Uh, so first of all, uh, uh, the product looks like uh, the pictures you see on the left side. Uh, it comes uh, in, in four different uh, uh, models, I would say. Uh, first of all, we have two different resolutions available. So we have a, Q, a quarter of HD resolution, meaning 960 by 540 pixel. And then we have a two megapixel resolution, that is a 1920 by 1080 pixels. Uh, both of these resolutions are av then available in uh, two different uh, variants uh, in terms of monochrome or color options. So eventually you have uh, uh, QHD resolution, grayscale and uh, color, and two megapixel resolution, grayscale and color. So four uh, base units uh, that uh, you can you can choose from. Uh, the product is uh, sold uh, in a modular approach, uh, meaning that uh, we have uh, decided to have uh, the lenses, uh, the illuminators, the filters, the covers uh, uh, sold separately. Meaning that when you when you when you buy the device, you can choose how to compose how to compose the final product. So here on the left side, you see a couple of different uh, uh, solutions that are built upon the same uh, base unit. So on the left side, you see we have a version with a compact lighting system. This is the lighting system we call internally with the 14 LEDs because the illuminator is, uh, is made of 14 LEDs. While on the right side, you see the version with 36 LEDs. So of course, uh, is uh, the solution that will uh, help you in delivering more lighting power over the field of view. Uh, no matter of what size of uh, illuminator you're using, uh, you can choose different colors uh, because uh, these uh, lighting systems come in different flavors. Uh, so you can get it in blue color, red and white, uh, and we will soon uh, be adding uh, the infrared option as well. Uh, so plenty of uh, choices uh, in terms of uh, color and lighting solutions. In terms of lenses, also the lenses are interchangeable as well as the filters. Uh, the lenses, uh, we have uh, four different focal lengths available. So we go from the six millimeter lens, that is of course the, the widest aperture version, moving up to the 17.5 uh, uh, focal length, uh, that is uh, the one that gives you the possibility to, to keep uh, your field of view narrow and so to focus uh, your uh, your your pixels uh, you, let's say your resolution over a smaller field of view uh, the choice of the focal length is typically related to the mechanical positioning of the device uh, meaning that sometimes you you can stay close to the target and you want to cover a wide field of view in some other cases you have some mechanical constraints uh, you need to be to stay far away from the from the from the target and so in that case uh, you may prefer to choose uh, a longer focal length uh, before moving forward, uh, I just want to underline also the fact that uh, these uh, units, the, so the P2X, uh, comes uh, with uh, with uh, the most common industrial field bus uh, embedded. Uh, 
so we have Profinet and Ethernet IP and Modbus uh, uh, pre-installed and uh, available directly on the unit. This means that you can connect uh, your smart cameras directly to the PLC, and so you immediately get uh, the results uh, on your PLC. We are, of course, providing all the drivers, all the, you know, the GSDM file and so on. So everything you need to easily uh, connect uh, your PLC directly to the smart cameras. Let me focus uh, the attention on a uh, few uh, key features of this product. So this is something I've uh, actually already uh, anticipated before. So the fact that uh, uh, with the P2X, uh, we can uh, run the complete uh, impact uh, software package uh, on the smart cameras. So uh, we know that uh, some of our competitors, uh, uh, sometimes some are limiting uh, their uh, the software functionalities when it comes to smart cameras. This is not the case of data logic. So we have chosen to have the whole, all the functionalities, all the options, all the tools, uh, that uh, are, are, are um, part of the impact framework uh, that are, uh, you, of course, available also on the PC-based solution. We, want to, we wanted to have them available also on a smart camera platform. So uh, when you buy a P2X from DataLogic, you, uh, you are assured that uh, you can run all the functionalities, all the options, uh, all the possibilities uh, that we have uh, in the impact software suite. This uh, also means that uh, uh, when you develop a program in, uh, in, with the impact software, you can decide uh, whether you want to port it uh, over the smart cameras or if you want to run it uh, on a vision system, so on a PC-based solution, uh, because the programs that are created are fully portable from one hardware to the other. The other key point I would like to underline, and this, this is actually one of the most important strengths of this product, is the, the, the very sophisticated optical design that we have developed. So uh, you know that in machine vision, it's very important to have very powerful uh, algorithms that can process uh, images, but it's also very important to start from a good quality uh, image because you know, there is the, the, the typical approach of the garbage in, garbage out. So if you feed your vision system with a bad quality picture, then you would struggle in, in solving your application in an effective way. For this reason, we have uh, really uh, spent a lot of uh, time and uh, significant effort in designing a very, uh, very high quality product. So a product that can really acquire uh, very good uh, and crispy images. Uh, so uh, I already mentioned you the fact that uh, we have uh, this modularity that uh, will allow you to choose uh, the cover, the filters, the lighting system, and so on that, uh, that uh, are fitting your application requirement best. Uh, but uh, uh, for sure, we have uh, also take, uh, took care of um, the, the quality of the, every single item, every single element. Uh, just to mention one, uh, here you see a sort of teardown of the unit, uh, and you could see that uh, on every single LED that is uh, composing uh, the illuminator, we have uh, uh, this solution. Uh, so we have some lenses that are called TIR, T I R, that stands for Total Internal Reflection Lenses, uh, meaning that we have these special lenses. Uh, applied over the LED that are really collecting uh, the entire power, the entire uh, uh, lighting power emitted by the LED and are conveying uh, uh, the lighting power over the field of view. So we are sure that we are not uh, wasting any energy, any lighting power in, uh, in a direction that are useless, uh, but we are really leveraging the entire uh, power that is emitted by the LED and we are conveying uh, it uh, over the field of view. Another very nice feature that we have available on the P2X, and uh, this is something that you have probably already noted from the pictures uh, I've already been using in the previous slide, is uh, this uh, colorful uh, outer frame of the lighting system. This is uh, uh, something available on both uh, the, the sizes of uh, the lighting uh, solutions we have, so both available on the smaller, the, the compact version, so the 14 LEDs uh, version, and on the 36 LED version. 
uh, this uh, outer frame uh, behind the frame uh, that is a sort of transparent, semi-transparent uh, frame, we have uh, some LEDs uh, that can be controlled uh, by the software. And you can decide with the software to turn them on and off uh, as you prefer and uh, in different colors. Uh, so, for instance, one typical case uh, is going to be the one where you want to turn on the outer frame uh, in green color in case uh, the result uh, of uh, your inspection has been a good one, uh, while you may prefer to choose the red frame, the red color, in case the part has been rejected. So, in case the result uh, of your inspection uh, was not in line with uh, your expectation. So uh, this, uh, of course, is uh, delivering uh, to the operator that is working nearby the smart camera an immediate feedback, uh, an immediate uh, uh, knowledge about uh, the result of the inspection. So anyone, even the most unskilled user, will immediately figure out, uh, according to the color of the frame, whether the part uh, was a good one or was a bad one. Uh, so this is something that, that is really delivering uh, some additional value to your solution. In addition to that, you see there is another color that you can use is the yellow one. Uh, and so thanks to the fact that you can really program the behavior of this uh, outer frame, uh, you may choose to do something more sophisticated. For example, you may want to set some threshold and say, okay, if my reject rate uh, is above 5%, uh, I want to turn uh, the outer frame in red color. If it is between 5% and 1%, I may want to use the yellow color, while if it is below 1%, then I will turn uh, it in green color. So immediately, again, think about the operator working around uh, in the production line, just having a look to the device, uh, he will have uh, the, 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 the understanding on how good is the uh, inspection point, so how, how, how many parts uh, the vision system is rejecting, uh, and so he can immediately figure out uh, the situations where there, there might be uh, cases uh, uh, where uh, he might have to have a look uh, to the programming, uh, to the settings, to the threshold in order to understand uh, why the vision system is rejecting too much, for example. Another key point I would like to underline is the color capabilities. Uh, we have uh, uh, really made a huge step ahead in terms of color processing. Uh, as already mentioned, first of all, the, the, the image quality that we are acquiring uh, is uh, excellent. So uh, if you have the possibility to turn on one of our cameras in the color version, you will be really amazed by the quality of the color pictures. Uh, because you will notice uh, that, that, that the colors are very brilliant uh, and the image quality is extremely high. In addition to that, we have uh, really, uh, I mean, completely redesigned the, the palette of uh, tools that uh, are able to process uh, color images. So you can really uh, benefit from a very extended uh, selection of tools uh, that are able to process uh, the color information. And this is very helpful, especially in some cases, and actually we're going to cover one of these cases at the end of the presentation. The last feature I would like to underline that I personally like quite a lot is the fact that we have embedded into the device an accelerometer. Uh, so that the device can understand, can detect, can monitor its orientation in the space. And we have foreseen a couple of different use cases. So the first one is about the detection of vibrations. So the camera, thanks to the accelerometer, is able to detect the presence of a strong vibration. And this could trigger an event. And then once again, with the impact software, you can decide what to do in case of this event. Uh, so you may want to fire uh, a digital output, or you may want to send uh, a message over uh, Profinet or Ethernet IP, or uh, you may want to turn on the outer frame of the device in red color, just to point out to the operator, hey, there is something that is, uh, is, might create some issues to the device. So first case is uh, the detection of uh, strong vibration. 
The second case is uh, uh, instead of monitoring the, ori the, the orientation along, uh, I mean, along the time. Uh, so when you install the device for the first time, you can acquire the current orientation of the device. So let's say you are an integrator, you are mounting the device on the machine, and then you have a button that will uh, allow you to acquire the current orientation, so the good one. And then the system will periodically check its orientation in the space. And then if uh, the current orientation, the actual orientation is different from the, the previously set one, so the, the device once again will, uh, will uh, activate an event. And once again, you have the, fl the flexibility of deciding what to do in case of this event uh, appears, uh, occurs. So uh, once again, you may want to, to warn the, the user in uh, several different ways, just to say, hey, look, uh, the current uh, orientation of my device is not anymore the, the, the original one. So maybe I'm not working in the ideal condition because of that. So this uh, is another uh, chance of, uh, let's say, adding some self-diagnostic uh, features of the device. So we are uh, somehow enriching uh, the functionality and the amount of data that uh, our products can, can deliver and can communicate uh, to the host. Okay, we now enter into the last part of my presentation and I would like to talk specifically about uh, two uh, application scenarios. Uh, you know better than me that machine vision can be applied uh, almost in any industry in uh, lots of different applications. Uh, so for sure, it would be impossible to cover in this uh, slot uh, all the applications, all the cases and so on. So I would like just to focus on a couple of them. So the first one is about robot guidance. So you know that uh, a typical case of, uh, of uh, machine vision applied in the industrial environment is together with robots in order to typically locate the position of an object that needs to be grabbed by, by a robot. Uh, so first of all, let me spend you a few words about that. Uh, I, I, I selected this case because uh, we see a growing interest and adoption of uh, robots uh, in the manufacturing space, uh, uh, mainly because uh, robots uh, are the typically enables, enablers uh, of uh, flexibility. Uh, so for sure, uh, we see a growing trend uh, in the manufacturing arena uh, looking for more and more flexibility uh, because uh, customers, because end users uh, have a wider range of products that they want to process on their on their facility, in their facilities, in their manufacturing lines. So for sure, uh, robots are the ones that are really delivering, are re really increasing the flexibility of a production line. Just to share with you a couple of data. Uh, so uh, these are data coming from some market survey uh, related to machine vision. Uh, just to mention a couple of, let's say, uh, indicators. The first one is the one that you see on the upper right corner. So today already the 10% of applications uh, of machine vision are, are in robotic applications. So you can immediately perceive that uh, one out of 10 uh, systems uh, are used together with robots. And that is a pretty interesting uh, uh, share of the entire machine vision uh, technology. Also because if you look at uh, the second index, so the one in the bottom part, you see that uh, the, these, the, this type of application are increasing, are increasing pretty, pretty, pretty fast. Uh, so you see a growth rate uh, in the double digit area uh, so it is a, a scenario that is uh, really is really increasing, uh, and so uh, for sure you will see more and more uh, uh, machine vision devices used uh, in combination with robots. Uh, so uh, this is an interesting case, of course, also on our for our P2X. Uh, uh, first of all, uh, uh, just to highlight uh, a couple of benefits. Uh, 
the fact that uh, with the P2X, uh, we are uh, acquiring uh, high quality and, uh, and uh, also high resolution images, uh, thanks to the two megapixel. And also I want to underline the power of the lighting system. So uh, I already mentioned you the fact that we are really, uh, the, we have designed a very sophisticated lighting system and very effective lighting system. So you know that sometimes uh, in a robot guidance application, you are forced to place your device uh, uh, quite far away from the, the target uh, because you need to leave a room to the robot to grab the part. And so in those cases where you are forced to mount your, your smart cameras, maybe half meter, one meter far away from the target, then you, you need to, to you need to, to use a very effective lighting system because of course you know that the higher the distance, the more power you, you might need in order to have a very stable and even con lighting condition over the field of view. So in this case, uh, the fact that you can leverage a device with that comes with a very powerful embedded lighting system will let you uh, tackle applications also that uh, requires uh, the camera to be placed far from the, from the target. Another key important advantage is, of course, the fact that within the impact software that is powering uh, the unit, uh, we have a very broad set of uh, algorithms uh, that are devoted for uh, to uh, location application. Uh, so we have uh, high quality uh, pattern matching tools uh, that uh, will let you locate uh, with very high accuracy and repeatability uh, parts that uh, needs to be grabbed into the in the field of view. And of course, another key benefit is coming from the fact that, that as uh, I mentioned you before, uh, we have uh, the industrial field bus embedded into the devices. Uh, and so you can easily connect uh, uh, the smart camera to your uh, robot controller and immediately get uh, the results uh, that you are looking for. The second uh, uh, scenario I would like uh, to spend a few more words about uh, is in the packaging industry because we see a very nice uh, fit uh, of smart cameras with packaging industries. Uh, you know that uh, packaging industry typically requires uh, um, an inspection device that can cope with uh, uh, fast moving objects. So once again, uh, the fact that you can leverage a, a powerful lighting system is very important in order to avoid uh, the typical blur effect uh, coming from uh, fast moving objects. Uh, in addition to that, you know that uh, very often packaging requires uh, a higher uh, industrial grade uh, because uh, very often packaging machines uh, are cleaned uh, periodically. And so very, it's very likely that uh, customers uh, are looking for uh, IP rated devices. So uh, once again, I want to remind you the, the big advantage of having one single unit uh, uh, coming with the embedded light, uh, embedded lenses, everything packed into an IP rated device. So with no need of additional enclosures or protection for your vision system. I want to underline one specific uh, thing uh, that, uh, that uh, I think is uh, very important in the packaging industry. Packaging is probably the industry where the variability is uh, the highest one. Uh, meaning that uh, very often uh, customers uh, need uh, to process uh, on the same manufacturing line uh, uh, different items. Uh, so items that are different in terms of colors, uh, uh, because maybe they are processing, uh, you know, uh, different flavors of the same uh, food or beverage, or uh, they might have to manage different uh, different items in terms of. Uh, uh, the information that are printed, maybe a customer is, uh, is, uh, is uh, selling their products in many different countries. Uh, and so the, 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 the information that are printed uh, on the parts are different. Uh, they might uh, build, they might manufacture uh, products uh, for different brands uh, and so on. So for sure, packaging is a industry that is uh, usually requiring the highest flexibility. So the possibility to manage uh, many different uh, formats, many different variants of the same product uh, on the same manufacturing line. And here I want to underline the importance of color. So especially in case you want to inspect uh, uh, different items, uh, you may want to leverage the advantage of using a color camera. So uh, here you see an example, and I'm going to share another one in the following slide where you can see on the left side, the color picture. So let's say that you have an application requiring you to read uh, 
uh, these uh, better before date, uh, so best before date uh, printed uh, on uh, this uh, package. As you can see on the left side, uh, the best before date uh, is printed uh, with black characters over a blue background. But this is the case of this specific flavor. Then you may have another, uh, let's say, color combination where you might have still uh, the black characters over a red background, for instance. So in this case, you see that if you are using a traditional grayscale image, uh, like uh, the picture you see in the, in the center of the, of the slide, uh, you see that you are getting some contrast between the characters and the background, uh, but still probably not the ideal contrast. While you see on the right side, uh, the value of working on the blue channel. So you see that if you select, uh, starting from a color picture to, to work in the color space of the blue, you see immediately that you are enhancing the contrast between the writing and the background. And so if you now run the OCR tool over this image, of course, you are going to get a more consistent, more robust, more repeatable result. Thanks to the fact that you have you're working on a higher quality picture for the for the algorithm. So, of course, uh, um, if you are uh, leveraging a color cameras uh, capable of handling different color spaces with color channels, uh, you have the flexibility of creating different recipes that uh, will, uh, will uh, be devoted to specific color combinations. Here in this slide, you see another example. So here you have another uh, string uh, printed uh, on a cap. Uh, on a color cap, so you see on the right, left side the color, the, the original color picture. So you have the black characters over a red background. Uh, once again, if you choose to work in the traditional uh, monochrome space, so on a grayscale image, the contrast you're getting is the image uh, in the in, in the center of the slide. So you're getting some contrast, but not real, uh, really the, the ideal situation that uh, actually you can get if you choose to work on the red channel. So once again, think uh, if uh, the customer uh, has a mixed production of uh, sometimes uh, they produce uh, batches with uh, red caps, sometimes they have blue caps, uh, sometimes they have yellow caps. So if you choose uh, a color cameras uh, from the very beginning, then you can create uh, every dif different recipes, uh, one for every specific uh, color combination. So you can uh, rest assured that uh, you will always get uh, the best contrast uh, to run your algorithms. Speaking about OCR, let me mention uh, as, as my uh, last slide of my presentation, uh, the fact that we, as Datalogic, we have a very powerful uh, OCR tool in our portfolio. So this is one of the 100 different algorithms that are available in our uh, impact software platform. Uh, this one is called advanced OCR tool. It's called advanced because it's really delivering very high-end uh, uh, processing capabilities. I'm going to play a short video and you are going to see how robust uh, we are uh, in reading uh, these, uh, these uh, text, uh, these uh, strings. Uh, and even if uh, we are going to introduce a lot of noise into the images. So as soon as I start playing this video, you will uh, start seeing uh, some images uh, going through uh, Going uh, um, in, I mean, going on in this uh, in this panel, and you will see that uh, no matter if we are introducing a lot of noise, uh, the reading result is extremely stable and extremely good. So let me play the video. So you, here you see some uh, uh, variations in terms of lighting. So in terms of uh, grayscales, you see some uh, additional noise. Here you see some more tough situations. And we are going to run out. So in cases where you can barely understand as a human being what is written there. So, but uh, even if uh, the, 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 the application becomes very tough, uh, you see that uh, we are always able to read, uh, to detect, to uh, understand uh, the meaning of every single character thanks to this uh, powerful algorithm.
Okay, so if I remember well, that was my last slide. So I don't know if there are any questions, if there is any question or... No. Well, thank you very much for that, for a start. No one's put any questions on the chat as we've been going through, but if anyone does have any questions at the moment, please just use the raise hand function and we'll be only too happy to answer them. <laughs> 